garbage has been the biggest problem that we face in any city today. And uh, it is basically because all of us have certain ways of, you know, discarding waste. Uh, we think that if we keep our homes clean and if we, uh, you know, throw a bag of garbage, the municipality will take care of it. But once you bag your garbage in the bag like this, this has everything. It has your wet waste from your kitchen, sanitary waste, it has plastic paper, everything. And it travels 30 to 40 kilometers away from your home and it reaches a landfill, which is actually creating a lot of problems. Today, we say no to landfills and what we can really do. This is a problem because landfill uh, creates environmental concerns. There is leachit that goes from the landfill. It's mountains of garbage. The leachit goes into the groundwater, which contaminates the soil and the water in, in, in the ground. And also there's a lot of methane that gets got going into the air. And the people around the villages where they, the landfill is situated, they suffer a lot because of our bad habits. So what can we really do is the question today. It is simple change of habits, the way you look at this bag of garbage. In this bag, I can see there is kitchen waste, there is paper, there is plastic, there is some metal, there is some broken glass. So all we can do is stop bagging our food waste and start taking a new new way of looking at garbage. So introduce into our homes a concept called one bag and two bins. There are two bins and one bag. This should be the concept that we need to have where you put all your dry recyclables that are plastic, paper, metal and glass in a bag, put all your kitchen waste in this and put rejects in this. Now the reject is only 20%, 10 to 20% that would go actually to a landfill and this is 60% of your waste is your kitchen waste which can be composted at home and the remaining dry waste can go for recycle. So now if we look at the kitchen waste, let's come to the kitchen waste which we can actually compost at home. So when you have a green bin in your kitchen, start putting all your wet waste into it. Your vegetable peels, fruit peels, the egg, egg shells, there will be flowers from your puja. There could be uh, everything that comes out of your kitchen, which, is, which you have eaten or which we have used, which are biodegradable, can go into this bucket. And the composting process is very simple. It is the breakdown of this. This is all organic matter. There is no plastic or glass in this. It's all organic matter. And the breakdown of this organic matter, which finally becomes the compost. This is something that we are looking for. And this compost is what we can make at home. Very simple. You can see there is all food waste that's coming out of my green bin. This green bin holds only biodegradable waste. And the process is very simple. I don't look at this as garbage at all because this is the food that I have eaten and this is good resource for me. I can convert this into something called the compost, which is the black hole, which is an amazing product for your plants. And this can be converted easily at home. So all you need is a container, a container, you can take a terracotta container, you can take a plastic bucket, make sure there are holes because this process is an aerobic process where it needs air, air circulation, that is it needs oxygen for the microorganisms to break it down. So what we do is we take our kitchen waste and the leaves are very much uh, available free of cost. It's all over. So the dry leaves are very important for this process. These dry leaves, most people burn it away, but this is fantastic resource. And also it helps to absorb the uh, moisture when the wet waste is breaking down. So you add enough dry leaves, I stock enough dry leaves for the whole season, then you mix it with the dry leaves. And the first, uh, now to break down, this is a container and to break it down you need microorganisms and these microorganisms are available in different forms. The first one that I would go for is cow dung. Cow dung has plenty of microorganisms to help you break it down. So cow dung could be the first one. So you can actually add some water to the cow dung, make a slurry, you can make a slurry out of it and sprinkle a little bit of cow dung onto this. You have effectively introduced microorganisms to kickstart the breakdown of the organic matter. So 
if you don't get cow dung, many people cannot source cow dung. So you can take a little bit of sour buttermilk. This is nothing but machige, which is a little bit of, uh, it is sour in nature. And you can sprinkle a couple of teaspoons of this onto the food waste. And this is the first step. And this is the one day's waste that goes into my kamba. Kamba is nothing but a terracotta pot. And I put this into my kamba along with the dry leaves. And then I add some more dry leaves on the top. I add some more dry leaves on the top. Make sure that it does not attract any insects or any kind of vermin. So the smell is covered up. If, if you don't have uh, enough dry leaves, probably you can even, an old newspaper, you can just cover it on top and then close it. You can see there are holes in this and this is a loose lid that sits on it. And this is the first day's waste. Now on the second day, you repeat the same thing. You add enough dry leaves to your kitchen waste and then put a little bit of either cow dung slurry or buttermilk, sour buttermilk and then you add it. So you do this one day one, day two, day three and day four. On day four, give it a nice turn because we need to turn the pile uh, for it to have aeration because it starts to compact. So we, we turn the pile once in four days so that we introduce air until the bin is full, start, keep putting your waste and turning it. Don't forget to turn it once in four months because the pile has to keep breathing. And this is the first step. And once this is full, then you can move to a second container. And by the time the second container gets filled, this would have broken down to become much less. And uh, uh, it takes around 30 to 40 days for it, for it to become something like this. Uh, this is amazing product. It's, it smells very nice, earthy smell. And uh, you can put it to your plants and uh, you can grow your own vegetables. So you're closing the loop. You're using the vegetable peels to make compost and put it back to your plants to grow more vegetables. So you can, the circle of life is completed in, in your homes by making this, this compost, this wonderful compost. And you are actually saving uh, these resources going to the landfill and creating issues for our planet. And this is something all of us can do.